Nick, what are we hearing from Bloomberg sources? We know that President Xi has a pretty full agenda at home at the moment in between Delta outbreaks and the regulatory overhaul. Right. There are a couple of things going on here. One is that uh, President Xi has not actually left China in uh, a very long time, about 600 days. Uh, uh, so the idea that he is going to come to the U.N. General Assembly next week or G20 uh, meeting uh, later this year or do some sort of uh, special summit uh, with Joe Biden is, is uh, unlikely for those reasons. But there's obviously the other issue of, uh, you know, what, what these two leaders are going to talk about. Um, uh, President Biden has essentially, in, in the first months of his presidency, uh, laid out the notion that, that the competition with China is going to be one of the defining challenges of, of the next few decades. And he's really ramped up uh, the rhetoric uh, against China in, in some ways, even beyond levels that, uh, uh, that President Donald Trump did. So that's, that's the atmosphere. And, mm. um, you know, the big question is, is what really they would have to talk about if they did meet. But at the moment, it looks like that's, that face-to-face -face meeting isn't going to happen anytime soon. Is there even an opportunity for a meeting? What could be the next circuit breaker here? Well, I, I mean, you, there, th this is the issue. There's not really, you know, normally you would have so many opportunities in sort of the pre-COVID era. You, there would be so many opportunities, these, these big group of 20 meetings or the UN General Assembly where uh, Xi Jinping has gone uh, previously, so you would have these moments where they could meet, but uh, because of those tighter restrictions, they're not doing them. But also, suffice to say, we're a long way from the situation where uh, Xi Jinping welcomed Donald Trump to Beijing um, mm. for a few days, uh, you know, during his presidency. That's just not the sort of thing that's going to happen right now.